11? Not 10, not 12, but 11. That's kind of weird. Hi, everybody. Robert Jones back in the tasting corner with you today doing... Mexican treats. I don't even know where are these from. I'm kind of excited to try these out today. Um, I have two products. Ooh. I have two products that I found at the dollar store in uh, Los Angeles, as one does when they're waiting for a friend to do what they need to do at the university. I was out shopping for fun stuff. So um, the first one I have here is the Alote Revo Revo Revolcado. Revolcado. I can't even speak Spanish today. Revolcado from Jovia. Uh, approximately 11 pieces. 11? Not 10, not 12, but 11. That's kind of weird. Um, if you guys know what a lote is, uh, in Mexico, where the corn comes from, the corn, um, they cook it on and put it on a stick and then they will, um, uh, put hot sauce and cheese and all kinds of stuff on the corn. It's delicious. I love them. Um, so apparently this is supposed to be a candy that is, uh, simulating that. Also, we have the tamalito tamarind flavored candy with chili um this one kind of scares me this is funny because these are wrapped in corn husks like tamales are so i guess they're called tamaritos so a little tamales and this one has eight pieces um and i don't know why this guy is getting shot in the mouth with looks like hot sauce so I don't know which one to do first. Let's do the elote, because I'm most curious about that. I'm going to see if I can snip the bag of the... Oh, let me tell you what's in here first. Chili-covered hard candy lollipop with soft candy center. That scares me. Sugar, corn syrup, maltodextrin, strawberry pulp. Strawberry pulp? I've never seen strawberry pulp as an ingredient. Dehydrated apple. Citric acid, salt, chili, uh, titian dioxide, artificial flavors and colors, number five, number 40, red, blue, blah, 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 all these things. And these are good till November of 18. Product of uh, Made in Mexico, Anguita, Catarina, Chapala. I cannot read this. Anyway, oh, it is by the Jovi Candy Company, J O O V Y Candy.com. <laughs> There you go. All right, let me see if I can snippy, snippy the back of this open and just get one out. I will preserve the package as always and put it on my blog. So if you guys are curious, you can look at that. If I can open this, open this, open that. There we go. There we go. Snippy, snippy. All right, let's see if that has a smell. It smells very fruity. I was not expecting that. I was expecting more of a chili. Smells like dried fruit. Wow, that's an interesting. Now, I was looking at this, and it looks like when they make these, they just toss the whole thing in the chili powder or whatever, and I thought, that's kind of funny. It's just all over the stick. And then it's in the little package. So here's the front of the package. Yes, and see that. Just like a standard lollipop. Uh, it pretty much says pretty much the same thing here. Uh, and the back has nothing, but it is clear, so you can actually see the alote revolucado. Sorry, Spanish speakers, my Spanish is not good. All right, we're just going to pull it out. All right, smell. Wow, that's so funny. It totally smells like dried fruit. All right, now it said it's going to have a soft center, so let's let's give it a little taste. Mmm. It has a sweet and chili flavor. If you guys have ever had, oh, what is it called? It's like a packet of sugar with chili and stuff in it. A friend introduced me to it back in the 80s in high school. It's really good. All right. So it's sweet and salty and chili. Not hot. It doesn't taste hot. It's got a little tartness to it. Mm, here's what it looks like. So the tip, just the tip, looks like hard candy. You guys see that? 
Okay, it's kind of bugging. I don't like my hands to be dirty, and the fact the stick is dirty is kind of... It's not dirty, it's just got... They all got it. They all got chili powder on them, and to me it's just kind of weird. All right, I'm going to bite it again just so I can get more flavor. Oh. It's kind of a hard candy, and I'm afraid of breaking my teeth. I thought it was going to have... Um, I thought it said something about chewy in the middle. I'm not tasting chewy in the middle. All right, I'm gonna try to break this. See if there's a... There we go. The answer is no. It is solid all the way through. So I'm not quite understanding. Where this chewy fruit powder is. Mm-hmm. It's making me pucker. It's got a, a definite sourness to it. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I'm done. I don't do well with sour things. I can stand a lot of hot chili, but I'm not a sour person. I don't like sour patch kids and all that kind of stuff. And that's... I was hoping it was going to be more corn flavored. It wasn't very corn flavored. It was like sour with chili. It's okay. I suppose if this is the flavor profile you love, that's great. But to me, it's not, it's not, it's not super delicious. So there you go. Sad. Okay. Moving along. All right. Let's try the tomarito. Now I do like tamarind. Um, I do like tamarind with chili, so I'm just hoping it's not going to be sour, just because I'm not into the sour. Uh, this is made by Delicias del Trinufo, if I got that right. Uh, sugar, corn syrup, chili, citric acid. Oh, see, citric acid is always the thing that makes it sour. <clears throat> I did check my receipt on these, and they were 99 cents each, so very inexpensive. Anything else I can tell you about this? Not much. Uh, distributed from the City of Industry, California. Made in Mexico. Looks like the same company. Maybe. All right. You know what time it is. Snip, snip, snip. All right. Let's give these a snip on the back side as well so I can try to preserve the package. Snippy on the back side. Snippy on the front side. Snippy, snippy. And... Get one of these little things out here. Look at that. How cute is that? So I'm a big fan of tamales. I actually have a tamale making video, I believe. I think. I need tamales. Um, so let's give this an unwrap. So this is a corn husk. If you guys are not familiar, a lot of Mexican foods are wrapped in horn corn husks. They are a great way to steam something. This one is really, it's really stiff and dry. So, okay, so the corn husk comes off, so here's a tiny little corn husk, biodegradable. But then there's plastic. Looks like there's plastic around it. It's very sticky. Very, you see that? Very sticky. Very sticky, sticky, sticky. All right. So it seems like it's kind of a hard... A hard candy definitely smells like tamarind so I'm gonna try to cut this a little bit because I don't want to pop this thing is this pretty big let's see if I can cut this and just eat a small piece there we go okay so it's kind of like a thick caramel it's chewy mmm that is very <clears throat> tart and nostalgic this there's something like this we used to eat as kids Still trying to cut another piece off because actually that was pretty good. So it seems like it's kind of a stiff caramel consistency. If you guys can see that, see if it's chewy. It's kind of grainy, like a badly made fudge. It's very, it's very tamarind flavored, which I like. If you're familiar with Indian food, it's always that brown sauce on the side. Um, tamarind is a seed pod. It has a hard outside. It has black seeds. It has like fibrous veins. 
And it also has this really nice pulp in there. And when you boil it, um, the pulp softens up. And then apparently <clears throat> they mix it with sugar, obviously, to make it more sweet and um, chili. Now, these do have chili to them. I'm taking a little bite here. How hot is the chili? On my scale, I'd say it's a, a two. If you're very sensitive to chili, it's probably more like a five. Mm-hmm. I think I could be done with one. It's making all the juices in my mouth flow. Mm. And it does have a, a little bit of a grainy sugar, like a panouche. Are you familiar with a panouche? Kind of like a fudge that's grainy. Panouche. That is much better. Um, this, I would... Uh, I don't know if I'd buy this again, but it's fun to try. It's always fun to try new things. Um, this I'd give like a six. Like, I would buy this for like a Halloween something fun or something like that. And I will definitely have my friends and family give these a try. Um, now, that being said, this, on the other hand, I don't... I don't need to eat this again. This is like a four. I don't want to try these again, and I won't necessarily give these to anybody, but these are fun and have a nice tamarind flavor. So there you go. Mexican candy treats to try. Hey, Mexico, when do you guys eat these? Is there a special time of year that you eat these? Or are these just like everyday kid treats? Tell me. Tell me in the comments. What's going on? Um, love the tamarind. Not so much about the hard candy. I think because I didn't expect it to be hard, and I don't really like hard candy, like on the stick like that but yeah there you go all right you guys um check out one of these videos tell me what you think or subscribe on this side i'd love to have you come back for more uh if you would like there is an address down below p.o box for me in the description send me something from your land i'd love to taste test it and tell the world about it all right you guys i'm robert jones this is mutamonious mark ii take care bye <laughs>